It's very apparent this board refuses to properly function within the boundaries of the Open Meetings Act or the Constitution. Based on your actions, you don't even know what your roles are. Superintendent Roberts is usurping the board president by running the meetings, colluding with your lawyer to create rules speci specifying those rules at these meetings and preventing some board members from access to information. Mr. Roberts, you're only an advisor to this board. It's the board's job to run the meetings and create rules, not yours. This board is your boss. You need to stay in your own lane. The abysmal proficiency scores, skyrocketing rates of bullying, and discipline problems are all a reflection of your poor performance as superintendent. You're definitely not worth the almost $400,000 salary you're getting. Part of the problem might be how much time you spend posting on social media. I see you even made sure your posts were all on the front page of the school district's website. Speaking of social media, I told you at a previous meeting, Mr. Roberts, the Supreme Court ruled public officials can be sued for blocking users on social media if that official posts about state matters. You still have people blocked from your Twitter account. It's obvious you think rules and laws don't apply to you. Then there's Mr. Pearl, who is the board president, but oh, has been Pearl. replaced in every facet by the lawyer sitting next to him. Mr. Pearl, if you need a lawyer beside you, whispering your ear and holding your hand during these meetings, then it's time to resign. You've essentially delegated all your responsibilities regarding these two, these meetings to two people who are not members of this board. It appears you're not only incapable of being president, but also afraid of the public commenters here, especially me. Mr. Pearl, why are you so intimidated by a child? After I handed you copies of the US Constitution, you were so frightened you set up a barricade so you would have a safe space. And you also moved the microphone for public comments to the back of the room, as far away as possible from you. I also question the efficacy of this board's lawyers. He's allowing this board to violate multiple laws and the Constitution by gaslighting this board to believe public commenters at these meetings have limited First Amendment rights. In fact, the First Amendment guarantees our freedoms, including speech. The Constitution was written to restrain the government, not to restrain the people. I will end with a very relevant quote from C.S. Lewis, which states, the greatest evils in the world will not be carried out by men with guns, but by men in suits sitting behind desks.